It's not going well. Like really not going well. Char Yep, that. I promised in my last TikTok video that I'd actually build this ridiculous aluminum table. So we're gonna do it. With over 9 million views, this is one of the most shared, most tagged, most DM'd videos that have ever come into my life. A few things we wanna take into consideration here that are blowing my mind is one, the melting point of aluminum is 1200 some degrees Fahrenheit, and the combustion point of wood is like 500 degrees. So there's a very slim chance that we don't get flames during this. The second part is that he gets this thing milled flat, which boggles my mind because I don't have any idea how we can do it. Chris said supposedly we can mill it on normal milling tools. I don't know, but this one should get wild. All right, we're gonna start out with a small test, mostly because the big smelter that I ordered is not here yet, one. And two, I think this is gonna look awful, and I don't know if it's worth investing time and energy into, but Chris and Tyler think it's gonna look awesome. So I'm gonna carve something shallow into this piece of walnut here. And we're gonna dump some aluminum in it, see if it catches on fire. Who's with me? It's much easier to just buy the damn hoodie than it is to make this sign. All right, so we're outside. Supposedly this stuff can get kind of dangerous. The gases can give you Alzheimer's as well as make your eyeballs melt. I think that second part there is uh, a little bit false. But Chris, when he showed up here in Pittsburgh and I found his ass at Home Depot, had this in the back of his truck. It's a tiny electric smelter. If you were curious, this is what Satan's butthole looks like. Yes, it is. <laughs> And I don't have proper eye gear and stuff. I don't have one of these masks. So Chris is gonna do the pour. I'm gonna commentate from the sidelines, sort of like one of those brand new XFL games or whatnot. And we're gonna see if this actually works. I'm pretty pumped, because I love fire. Let's go. And we're off. Chris is dropping the aluminum into Satan's butthole. Damn, dude. Can't find the hole. It's all right, Chris. All right, see you in an hour. One hour later. Fire! Oh god. Oh! It's awesome! Oh god. It's awesome! Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's better, Chris's reaction or the actual process. It's so good. <laughs> it's reminding me of Terminator 2. That's gonna date my ass, but it's pretty cool. Except I think he was made of mercury. So something I'm already noticing is that it's not bonding to the wood at all. I wonder how the hell that dude got it to bond to the wood in the river, because like this is a, a this is on top. When it gets inside of it, it's just gonna like burn its I don't know. I think it'll be interesting to see if these just fall right out. Look, oh, that's a shitty one. It looks like shitty tinfoil. <laughs> Regardless, it looks terrible. Kind of like I said it would. I think our tiki talkie might be full of poopy. They did multiple pours. That doesn't make sense though, because the wood around it would have been so charred. Like it wouldn't have stayed the same shape around the river. I don't know. They're definitely doing it in layers, and I think part of what might be allowing it to work is that it's wedged because of the taper of the wood. Gravity isn't gonna pull it through, but it, that means you could just pop it right back out from the bottom. They also have a metal plate underneath it, it looks like. Oh. Wow. Got five Burning the wood still. Let's put it on the ground. So, I found a piece of wood with a hole in it. We're gonna try this. I screwed a piece of scrap metal to the bottom. Kudos to those of you in the comments who know what this is from. That should help the metal not come out. I don't really know. We're gonna pour, pour the bolt in back into it and see how round two goes. She's all yours, Chris. I thought I'd be more excited about this. He was so pumped to do this. The sadness in his eyes. You cannot see. You can't see on camera. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so cool. Hold on, melt this junk. Well, melt the ingot, but then you can melt this junk too. Oh. Oh, that's sick. That's I think we got it. So we're gonna let experiment number two cool off. And in the meantime, we got a package. We kind of knew that that little kid's thingy would not get the job done. So we ordered a bigger one that we can use propane with. <laughs> Way bigger crucible. But how aren't we catching this on fire? So these directions, I gotta say, are some of the best I've ever seen. It has a indicator of when the can is glowing red. That means that it's hot. My goodness, this looks dangerous. And we're gonna strap a big thing of propane to it. 
So Chris has been using the smelt, smelter, seltzer, schveltzer, whatever that is, melting down making ingots because it's going to be a lot easier for the big pour. And I just got back from the metal store. The guy looked at me really weird, but he gave me 100 pounds of aluminum scrap that we're going to have to cut up and get to melting. So right now, agenda is just make as many ingots as we possibly can. Is that for somebody? There's no, that's, it's, my, it's mine. Mine. So it's actually a split in the center. So the wood actually split there. That would work pretty well for what we're trying to do, I think. Something like that. And it was like around here. We could pour that. And then we don't have to smelt all 100 pounds of aluminum. I'm in. All right, so here's our two options. We have that natural crack that happened, that if we fill that with resin, could look pretty rad. We need 105 cubic inches. He has to have a foundry or something. The, the dude that did it? The TikTok guy. Oh, he was, like, he was on uh, Forge and Fire. That so. doesn't mean shit. The volume he had? Oh yeah. Is that all we have? No, there's like, but the other ones are hot as <laughs> I think we have 16 right now. Super nice. And that took how long? All day. 5.3, so we need 20. <laughs> Close. Okay, we only need four more then. All right, let's get like 24, Okay. and then, that should work. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on a plate and then maybe maybe just tack weld because that plate is four feet by four feet. Put it on there and then tack weld just some some spot in here. Yeah. And then that way I, I can hammer it off. Let's get squirrely. So few concerning matters. One, sucker's gonna get hot. I don't know what we're gonna do with heat dissipation through the metal. Lots of things might burn down. Two, we have to have ventilation and my parking lot is a roller coaster. But I think I have an answer. We just take the whole damn table over to the door. <laughs> ha! Obviously this is the only way. It's the only logical answer. All right, we gotta level it. No, you won't believe this. It's level? Hey! That means it's a... Uh, Ingot time. How's it going, Chris? It's going. We've been uh, smelting all day. We've got 19 ingots. We're about to pour number 20. Oh yeah. Too bad there's so many shadows. Oh, it's so cool. That's so rad. So I have about four more, five more to make, so we have enough for the pour tomorrow. So yeah, I can just push it down and melt instantly. So hot. Before we dump a bunch of aluminum on this, right, we're gonna throw some rebar into the edge profile here. I more or less just want to give the aluminum something to bite to. I went in deeper into our TikTok video guy's portfolio in a, and he has another video where you can really see the rebar inside. So we're just gonna add a bunch of those on both sides. Hope that locks it together, uh, cause that's my biggest concern right now is how the hell are these two gonna stay together once we take them out of the mold. I have no hope for this. I have high hopes. I mean, cause even after we pour, we literally still have to figure out how we're gonna mill it flat, how we're gonna sand it without exploding the dust collector in my shop, and that's a myth. how we get all the scratches out of it. It's a myth. Yeah, you can't, you can't explode a dust in static. No, if we run it through the belt sander and get any metal shards into it, those sparks will catch it on fire. Oh. Maybe we auction it. Maybe we give it away. Maybe, I don't know. Depends on if it works or not. Here's our ingots that Chris smelted yesterday. So we got like, I think 20-ish of them. They look pretty cool. Now here comes the fun part. We gotta figure out how to smelt these again. I don't think this is gonna work. What are you kids doing? I have to plug this in to a propane tank and then light it on fire with a torch. I don't, I don't like this at all. <laughs> the TikTok! Training to make matters worse. So we had to set up this tent that'll probably get a whole bark through the top of it by the time we're done with this, so. I got an idea. What's your idea? I'm gonna poop now because when I have to do this, I'm probably gonna shit my pants. <laughs> so I'll just get it all out now. Catch you in a few. All right. Why are we both doing the things that we're bad at? We'll leave that off until I turn the other one on. Oh boy. I don't like this at all, guys.
That's off. That's on. Oh, I have it full cranked right now. I can smell it. I can hear it. It's it's like halfway. I got like halfway right now. Oh boy. Whatever's going on here, stop it immediately. Did Lou overstuff the ingot? Now we're ready. Well, there ain't nothing to it but to do it, and I feel like we're all in right now. So, uh, everyone's got the proper PPE to our research on, um, as well as welding gloves, welding jackets. And for all of you concerned at home, uh, I would not try this unless you were properly set up. We have two fire extinguishers sitting right here and multiple buckets of water. Uh, we should be good. With fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Yep. Mm-hmm. Game time! Oh boy. The aluminum got under the slab and you can kind of see from that side that it's poking up. We got a huge, look at that. Damn it. We'll have to go closer. Attempt number two. Ready? Here we go! I think we gotta get the whole bottom covered if we can. That's better. Yeah, my concern becomes you milling in the metal. Round three! I mean, flaming wood is cool. I don't know. I'm concerned with the bow, but we'll see what it's like when we get it out of the mold. It's kind of fun though. Lou's a bit of a pyromaniac, so we're gonna let him have a pour. So we're like five or six pours in. To be completely honest, that guy had to have poured like a four to five inch thick slab because it's warping our table, it's warping the wood, everything is charring, but it's char... Yep, that. It's not going well. Like, really not going well. Hopefully we can salvage it and turn it into some piece of furniture. I guess this is why we test things and don't believe everything you see on the internet. So something that's concerning to me is I don't think with the way the pores have been going that the aluminum is remelting and bonding to itself every pore. So I think we're literally getting bubbles of aluminum on top of each other. The guy in the TikTok poured like a gallon at a time, which was gonna hold more heat, it's gonna take up more space. I think that's another problem we're gonna have uh, once we get this thing cooled off and start to try and finish it. More or less, I think just Routing a piece of metal in the wood would have been a way easier way to get the same look. But you don't know till you burn down your shop. More! I think that's it. This looks horrible. I tested the dumbest things for you guys, because I love you. Excuse me while I go pray to Ron Swanson. The next day. I said when we, when we had this idea to try it, there was a lot of confidence in the milling. Now we have this much confidence in the milling. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, we still have zero confidence in the milling. Oh man. Oh boy. That's not bad, baby. Oh, actually, pretty flat better than it was. Yeah, I'm actually like pleasantly surprised that we're at place that flat. Damn. I actually think this might, this side might turn out a lot better. Well, this is the top, so. <laughs> oh, okay, then it, I hope it turns out better. I mean, the problem that we're gonna have is huge gaps. 
that will have to fill with either like epoxy or something. But it kind of defeats the purpose of this being an aluminum pour if you have to fill it with epoxy. <laughs> My gold chain. Not like this. Here though, let's put these on a gold chain and give them the loop. We'll get the sucker blown off, I'll sand it. We'll go from there, we'll make a judgment from there. Do I think it's completely dead in the water? 99%. But as any of you that fish know, you can give that sucker a rub in the stream, it might perk back to life. I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I just hit it with 400 grit, and I do believe this is the definition of polishing a turn. Mm -hmm. Now let's go put some finish on it. In the words of our forefathers, let us spray. Many hours later. So these tandem knuckleheads haven't seen it since I sanded it. But I think I was able to save it. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and ta-da! It's a polished turd. I don't hate it. You don't hate it? I well, here, don't. you can take it home. I will. Go ahead, take it home. I will. And if you want to see me try more ridiculous things we find on the internet, leave a comment down below and let me know what are we going to build next. <laughs>